Hello everyone, my name is Roger Noonan, and in this video I'm going to be showcasing the next stage of development for my Racetrack Gemstone Glitterway. So we're in the meshing stage of development right now, and as you can see, uh, what wasn't here before uh, include all the meshes around and blocking volumes. Uh, with the meshes in particular, you can see a variety of, uh, gem of uh, crystals, which accentuates the fact that this is a gemstone quarry. You can see many different kind of colors and shapes and sizes of it. And you can also see uh, those pink outlines, which are uh, blocking volumes across the uh, hillside here. This prevents the player from being able to drive up there and cheese the course. And you can also see other meshes right here, which I will get to uh, as I drive. But before I start the race, I want to point out the fact that there is a pathway uh, of sorts along the uh, mountainside, some pathways. Uh, per student feedback, I decided to include those to accentuate the fact that this is a quarry. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see already when we're starting the race right here, you can see a uh, start-finish line. And you can also hear the audience cheering from the uh, grandstand right there. They're invisible right now, so, um, they, they just, uh, they're a little camera shy, what can I say? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to full screen. So, uh, I had just driven past, um, these, uh, gold bars right here. They are the main collectibles, where, uh, they will increase your top speed as you collect them. And you can also see my first hazard here, which is a tar spill. This will cause the player to, uh, spin out of control. And you can see a billboard right there and some fences. And, uh, right here, these are my two power-ups. Uh, they are not functional right now, but uh, this one will allow the player to speed up when they activate it, and this one will uh, grant the player invincibility uh, to, protect them, to protect them from hazards for a short while. And so going further along, we can see these um, gold bars uh, guiding us forward, and right here is my next hazard, the rolling rock. Uh, obviously it's not rolling right now, but it will be rolling down that hill so the player has to avoid it. And right here you can see my next hazard, uh, the pits, which you need to avoid uh, falling into. As well as, uh, uh, as well as some boxes up there, which actually can be uh, damaged if the player uh, drives into them. Right now, that's not going to happen. Same with uh, these fences right here. But uh, that will be functional at a, a later point uh, in development. And uh, let's go ahead and dodge this pit right here. And you can see my next hazard, which will be functional later, which are these shooting crystals, which you can see they will shoot out across uh, the track. And the player has to avoid it. And the player also needs to... Uh, avoid this last type of hazard, the, crist uh, the crystal spikes. And so you can see things can get very interesting, the things the player has to dodge. And you'll notice also that uh, when I uh, slow down, you'll also be able to hear some uh, wind sound effects. So that, you know, it looks a it sounds a little more lively in here, despite everything looking kind of dead right now. So uh, we'll go ahead and complete the circuit right here. I did make some uh, slight adjustments right there to um, prevent the player from careening off the track. And the audience is cheering at, a, cheering at us for our grand return. And right here I can point out the fact that uh, the blocking vol volumes are working and I can't actually go up there. So the audience is cheering the fact that I'm just ramming myself against <laughs> an invisible wall. I guess maybe that's why they're cheering, because they're just as invisible as the wall. Anyway, that's my demonstration. I hope you enjoyed.